Hey everybody, this is Professor Lilly, and I want to talk to you about the activities for this week, which is on Moodle, the starting WordPress week. And you'll notice that the this is a three-week module where we are going to set up and add content to your WordPress website portfolio website. So that'll be three weeks, and then after that, we'll do one week of audio one week of video. There's a special assignment um, using a new kind of one-page website technology called Spark that you're going to do over Thanksgiving. It won't take too much of your time. Um, and then after Thanksgiving we'll come back and um, add some more content to your portfolio website and do some more uh, advanced aspects of website um, development there. And then we will have the, um, the final exam and then that will be it for this semester. So again, uh, this week on Moodle, we're at the starting WordPress week. So there's two activities this week. Um, probably by far the, the more important of the two, just in terms of going forward, is getting you signed up for a, uh, a WordPress. A WordPress is, is, is a content management system. Uh, that allows you to um, make relatively um, simple websites um, easily and you're going to be finding an internet service provider or basically an online ser web service that allows you to set up that um, your own WordPress website and that's obviously important for the module because your module is all based on doing your work through that online content management system and again um, you're going to be putting all the content uh, from the previous modules, such as the um, the uh, icons and mo monograms and web banners, and then also the newer content as we go along, such as your audio and video um, projects as well. So in order to do this, um, let me scroll up. Well, let me actually start here with the um, the second assignment for the week is um, the how the web works. So I'm going to come back to setting up your WordPress websites. Um, for some of you might find setting up the WordPress websites a very simple process. Um, it might even take you less than an hour. Um, and so we have one more assignment, which is how the web works small group presentation, which is basically a, a research assignment where you're finding out um, what certain terms are associated with how the web works and also um, website design and hosting a, um, a website on a web service and ISP. And so a lot of these terms that you're going to be researching this week are very, very important terms that you really need to know. For example, so if I sent you an email and said, okay, I want everyone to send me the URL associated with your ISP, um, those terms are things that you're going to need to know uh, for this class, but also going forward in other classes that might have you do some web work. So the how the web work, um, small group presentations, um, you can do this by yourself. Okay, so I'm calling it small group presentations because if you want to sign up for a work group, you can. And to sign up for a group, you just click here on this wiki. And there are um, five potential pages. So if everybody, or, or several groups of five. So if everybody, seven. So if they're, every single person decides they want to work uh, in a group, which presumably would, would save you time, then you would come in here and add your name to a group. And that's how you, you um, figure out who's in your group so you can begin contacting them to split up the work and compile it together for a uh, um, a presentation. So there's already one student signed up here for Team Green. So if you don't sign up for one of these groups, then I presume, or or, or you should, just go ahead and do it on your own, and that's fine. Um, if you do it in a group, then just one person in the group needs to submit the presentation, the group presentation at the end. Um, if you're doing it by yourself, then obviously you submit your own, own presentation. Uh, the prompts for the presentation are here, or rather the questions. So there's um, seven questions. And basically, if you're in a group, you divvy these up, and each, people, each person could go to the web, find the answers. Um, most of the answers are, um, you'll be writing about a paragraph for, for each one. 
for these um, term definitions. Um, just a few sentences is fine for each one. Um, so seven questions. You work on them. You split them up. Maybe you have one group, one member of the group who's the editor, who um, who everyone emails the answers to the ones that they were responsible for, and put it together in a presentation. I would like um, photos and infographics, and obviously links to wherever you got the information. I mean, some of the information is, is really um, is kind of general knowledge. So, example, you would find hundreds of different places on the uh, web that t define what an IP address is, what a DNS. Um, is that for, so for those you don't have to, to put links to where you got your information um, and you the team puts these together and you ch you choose what kind of power what kind of um, presentation format so you could use Microsoft Word that's fine um, and kind of write it up as, as a um, as a research paper with with photos and links and things like that and um, export it as a PDF and include that or you can do it as a PowerPoint or a Prezi um, or you could even do it as, as a Google Docs presentation. Just make sure you export it um, as, as a PDF. And then you, one member of the group submits it by Monday. So I honestly, if you, in your group, um, if you do it in a group of five, I think each individual person would spend um, maybe an hour and a half or even less. Um, and again, I would recommend having one person who, whose job is just to put everything together. Um, and then by next Monday, they submit it here in the How the Web Works Small Group Presentations. Again, um, you can do this work by yourself, okay? So in which case, obviously, um, by Monday, you will submit um, the, your own presentation. And just make sure you put the names of in the presentation of who... Granted, I can go back to the wiki, um, but in case someone... Uh, signs up for the group and just never does any work then don't put their name and when I go to figure out who um, should get credit for that presentation then I'll see the person's not there and maybe the person decided to do it on their own um, obviously I think it would be if you sign up for a group and then decide to do it on your own then you should take your name off the wiki and maybe email the editor saying hey I decided to do it on my own um, and obviously it would be rude to decide to do that at the last minute if they're already depending on you to answer certain uh, of the questions okay so as you get through this uh, you know if you have any questions then come to the zoom meetings on Thursday or just email me okay so again that's one activity not due until next Monday and then the other activity which is obviously very individually important for each one of you is to get your um, website uh, created um, one thing before I get to that, you will notice here we have the WordPress website assignment submission um, Dropbox, and then what's in, what's expected to be on your Word, Word, WordPress website by the end of the module. So when it says activities and assignments here in the Dropbox, this is what you're expected to do in at by the end of the three week module. Next week we'll be focusing on how to add different types of content. So you'll you will be adding uh, pages where you have um, little uh, photo galleries with your monograms and your icons in it. And I will talk next week about other types of content that you can add to the website. Um, so basically the goal is to after by the end of the three weeks to have a nice small portfolio website um, that you could show to your friends or apply to internships, and then we're going to add even more to it by um, by the end of the semester. So the the real due date for this actual module is the seventh, and and this is the list of what's expected by that time. Okay, so now let me get to um, how to actually set up your WordPress website. Okay, so. I just noticed that, um, so anyway, th there's three options that I'm giving you um, or suggesting, and it's up to you to choose what uh, ISP um, or, or rather um, web hosting service that you want to use for your WordPress website. Um, there's dozens of, um, of popular basic um, web hosting services that allow you to run uh, the web, the WordPress content management system on their, on your account. Um, and so I've given you a couple different options here. Uh, the department used to have like a big 
server with a dedicated server with Bluehost where um, all the students in digital tools could set up an account and we just had so many technical problems with them we decided that we're going to go back to each individual student um, setting up their own account on, on a service of their choice. So the one that I recommend happens to be their website I think was down earlier and that's um, iPage. Let me just see if it's still down yeah and so i mean this is probably just a temporary thing because um there i checked some of their other pages and they're also down um, but just earlier this morning everything was looking fine um and yeah, ipage is a service that i use um my, my wife has a couple small businesses and i um run the websites for her businesses through ipage um, and one of them is WordPress based and a couple of the other ones um, aren't. They're using different content management systems. Um, a different service is Bluehost. Let me see if I could find the link. There it is. Um, and this is what uh, Bluehost looks like. Um, and so right now they are uh, offering a special for um, $275 a month. Um, and that comes with a domain name. So you could have like whatever your name, like if I want to get mine, it could be, and it was available, I could get like jonathanlily.com or .org or .net. Um, and um, the pricing can be monthly or um, yearly. And you certainly can, after the course is over, and you've gotten a grade for the course, you can um, end your subscription and get your money back, which means you would have only um, paid like $6 or something like that for the semester. Um, uh, myself and, and the department in general recommends that you maintain a portfolio website. And as you go through your sophomore and junior year and your senior year, add more to it and then use your um, domain name. Uh, to your portfolio website is something that you can include in your application for jobs and for internships and things like that. So I definitely recommend that you know you're putting significant work into this uh, this class, and in your senior capstones, you might be asked to update your portfolio websites. Um, and um, anyway, I, I recommend that you keep them, but you don't have to. In which case, it would be a very small amount of money for having the the service for just a few months. Um, and then the third option is, and then um, if you sign up and say you do want a WordPress website after you um, pay to get this site and say, here's what I want my domain name to be, it should step you through the process of them going ahead and making sure you actually have WordPress content management system running on your web space. And um, it should um, ask you things like, what do you want your login name, for example, um, here is my login for one of my wife's websites. Um, she has an RV that, uh, that we rent out every once in a while as a way to, to help pay for it. And so separate from the back end, so the, the back end of, of my whole account for iPage is here. And so I can see the different domain names that I own and I can go into. Now this might work if they're, if they're might not work if their site um, is having some problems. I guess this part of the site isn't having problems. So I can go through and look at the files. Um, and a lot of this stuff, this kind of backend stuff, are things you're not really going to need to to do um, for this um, uh, for this class. It's a little bit more advanced. But if you're having problems with your website and you need to get into a, the, the backend like this, then I can show you how to do it on Bluehost or iPage. And then I can see the files that are associated with with the back end of um, you know because there are always files associated to what you're actually looking at um, on the web and that's one of the things you're going to learn in the um, how the web works um, research assignment so for the most of you you only have to be dealing with the WordPress dashboard in order to um, add content to your um, to your page, so um, and so this is what the basically it might look a little bit different for um, for Bluehost, but all of the WordPress uh, wherever it's running, whether it's a WordPress.com or iPage or um, Bluehost, the dashboard pretty much looks like this. And this is what the dashboards is what we're going to be looking at um, next week, and um, 
and then the third week as well, and then certainly when we get into the more advanced in the early part of December. And um, and this is where you'll be adding your pages. Um, so here you can see in this um, the RV rental website. We only have a few pages with content on it. Um, there's a contact form where people can email me, and it's actually forwarded to my um, personal email address. Um, one of the 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 one thing that I'm going to ask you to do by next week is to choose a custom theme. Um, and so all the WordPress uh, dashboards will allow you to choose a theme and I can um, research or hit add new and I can look at a whole bunch of different themes um, that are throughout um, the, the, that are available in the whole WordPress um, content management system and created by different um, different companies. Some of them you have to pay for, but a lot of them for, are for free. And so you can see here, just here's just several um, with that are already pre-installed. So if I chose one of these and said activate, that all of a sudden the content on my um, on my uh, on the web page would shift to that different look and feel. So usually different fonts, different color palette, um, different way that the um, like some of them have a, a, a banner like in this one here. Um, this one called 2011 um, uh, wants you to have a banner at the top. So um, since we're not meeting in class today uh, or this week, I want you to, to try to get in there and play around with the themes. Um, but in class, and, I, and my goal is for at the end of class on Tuesday for you to have a theme installed and kind of uh, understand what that is. So. Um, just make sure you have uh, come to class on Tuesday, and if you haven't had success with the themes or still kind of confused, then in class I will make sure everyone logs into their website and chooses the theme, and then we're going to get into how to add contents um, with the pages feature. Okay, so again, the, the most important thing for this next week is to actually get to this place, this um, level here. We're able to let, log into your dashboard. Um, you can come into your settings and uh, your general settings and, um, and add the name of your website, so the site title and a tagline if you, if you want it. Um, and say what your administrator email address is. And you can also, if you want to, go in and add a separate user. So I have a couple of users in here, partially because in case I happen to forget my... Um, my password and you have to remember your password to get into your um, your uh, dashboard so you don't want to forget it you want to write it down and by logging into the dashboard what I mean is um, is a page that looks like this page here where it has a W and it's asking you to be able to log in um, I have it set up so that it automatically uh, remembers me which is really important um, but again if you forget this you're not going to be able to to manage and add things to your website, and, it's, and it might, depending on the, the service that you choose, it might be a little tricky to, to to kind of reset that. I mean, it says here lost your password, so presumably when you sign up for the account, your um, email address will be associated with that, and so you'll be able to to, to reset it. Um, but you're absolutely going to need to remember how to get to this point and how to log into your dashboard because that's what we're going to be doing for the next three weeks, and we're going to be doing it again. Um, at the end of December to add extra elements to your website. Um, let's just try iPage one more time and see if the uh, their site is back up and running or not. Okay, it looks like not. But so I mean, like I said, it, it is a good service, but it looks like their 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 main website is just down right now. So um, there is so those two options, Bluehost and iPage, they're both cheap, um, and you get a don't, but you are spending some money and you, you are getting a domain name and some more advanced features. Now, there is one free option, and that's um, using WordPress.com. And WordPress.com is actual um, for-profit service um, that's similar to iPage, but it's only offering people the ability to run WordPress and create a website that way. Um, the for... Um, the the pay the paying plans are a little bit more expensive, but you can start or, or create a, a free website. Um, 
Some of the options are more restrictive, um, like it's a little bit more difficult to set up a, a um, email content for, or contact form, which you're required to have. You won't have um, access to as many themes, and then there's some elements called plugins. Um, you don't necessarily have to use plugins for what's required for our course, but for some of the things I, I am requiring, it makes it a little bit easier. So you can choose WordPress.com, that's fine. You might just find it a little bit more tricky to do some of the, the required elements for the, um, the course. So this is a free option is using WordPress.com um, to start a free plan. Okay, so there is a free option though I recommend you do um, either Bluehost or, or iPage. So um, again, the main thing, getting to that point where you've signed up for an account um, and you're, you, you know how to log into your dashboard where you can see, and again, all, uh, no matter which platform you're on, the dashboard will look basically like this. Um, and then you can, um, you know, where you can go and actually look at the site and what it looks for, like, and then you can go back into the dashboard and, um, and, and add things and make modifications to it. So that's, that's where you want to be by next Monday, getting ready for class on Tuesday, where we're going to focus on um, adding content. Okay, so if you have any problems, then I will be um, in my Zoom room at, on Thursday at 10.50 and then again at 12.15. Um, and that's if you're having any problems figuring out like how to sign up and things like that. Um, for your or or if in terms of your WordPress website or if you have any questions um, about the how the web works um, and just re that remember that this long list here right under the WordPress website assignment this is a not due until November 7th so these are all the things that you're expected to have on your WordPress portfolio website by November 7th so we have three weeks to get to that point so don't look at this list right now and freak out and because you know at this point you obviously don't know how to do a lot of these things. Um, last, next week we're going to focus on adding content. And if you still haven't figured out how to switch themes um, by class time on Tuesday, that's okay um, because we can. Uh, I'll cover that in class on Tuesday as well. Okay. So the main things that you want to be able to get into your dashboard, and um, and that means you're going to be. Um, ready to roll for um, for next week in terms of adding content um, and in terms of content you also don't need to worry too much because as you can read through here a lot of the content is going to come from the previous modules so you're going to put your um, your um, monograms and your icons and your web banners in there um, you also can set up some other pages for example if you write poetry or you do photography um, or you have some research papers or, or newspaper articles that you're proud of, then you can have a, a separate page that has that kind of content as well. Um, so again, get your WordPress website set up. Um, and at this point, you don't have to send me anything. I just want you to be at that point where next week on Tuesday, you can log into your dashboard and I'm going to say, okay, let me, I'm going to show you how to add content um, and, and things like that, how to use the pages, um, how to set new themes. So I'm going to show you how to do And there also will be some links uh, on Moodle in terms of how to do that. And then once you get that done, then start working on your How the Web Works um, presentation. Again, you can do it by yourself or you can do it in a small group um, to, to save time. And if you want to do a group, uh, then you sign up here. Um, these are resources here for um, for answering those questions so um, you know I mean you can certainly google all these but these are resources are, I'm already giving you for example one of the questions ask you what's the difference between the WordPress content management system and the Joomla content management system which is um, also one of the more popular content management systems being used for lots of different websites um, around the world um, so all of these provide pretty much most of, of the information that you need to answer the questions for um, right here, these seven questions. So again, if you have any questions, email me um, or show up uh, to a Zoom room on, um, again, it has to be either at 1050, and if no one's there, I'll only, only stay for another like 10 or 15 minutes waiting for someone to show up, but if no one shows up, then eventually I'll just close out the Zoom room, and then I'll log back in at 1215. So have a great week. Email me if you have any questions. This week I'll also be 
uh, grading the midterm exam and so that by next Tuesday I can give you the results of the exam. So have a great week. Email me if you have any questions.